Storm, it's time to edit this video. The Storm. Hey guys, this is Dino Three Star Nomadic and doing a little bit of a different vlog here that you'll be seeing. It's um, unfortunately a little cat, Storm, got bit by a dog and um, we had to amputate. It was really badly broken and at the end of the day we had to amputate his leg um, so I thought I might do a vlog sort of on the process of it you know over well maybe the first month or whatever of um, sort of things that that happen and how his process goes and hopefully at the end of this vlog it's um it's all smiles so but we're on the journey now so we've got um a little stormy year just come home from the hospital today I'm going to turn the light on because he's pretty, he's pretty canned out. Um, I'm going to show his cut because for people that, if it gets done, that's all the scar there where his leg was and it's no longer. Um, so, yeah, so anyway, um, We'll just I'll just be doing updates on this. Um, hopefully it'll come in handy for anyone who might be actually um, have to deal with something like this. So um, we'll keep you updated. Hello, Baba. Hey, beautiful boy. You waking up a little bit? Hey, little buddy. So this is an antibiotic that we have to get into him, unfortunately. Got at least getting it. Good boy. Good boy. That wake him up. Did you get in? Yeah. <laughs> and in actual fact, this is Storm is Taya's cat, so... Yeah. Little man. And you got to double check these these things here. I was looking at this here. I don't know if you can read it. Anyway, it had 0.6. I'm looking at it at six mils. So just make sure always double check stuff because I'm going to end up giving them too much. Okay, so as I say, he's been home about a couple of hours. Um, so about. 14 hours since his operation. He sort of, we just gave him pain relief. I think it was the taste of it just sort of woke him up massively. So obviously, obviously, you know, he's got to get used. He's sort of got to get used to um, walking without a leg. So he's going to be falling on his ass a lot. <laughs> That's part of the gig at the moment. Hey, little mate. Talking to the doctor, and it just happened one of the doctors there has a three legged cat. And um, yeah, he sort of gave us a lot of information on it. So, and uh, in case you do want to know the vet, just while that's in front of me. That was the vet we went to where in Perth, Western Australia. So, anyway, we'll keep you updated on everything, but we might have a fair bit over the next couple of days because that's sort of a time that if anyone's having to go through this with their cat, at least you can sort of see what we've had to do anyway, and we're just learning as we go. So we got some anti-inflams. Got to do that with food so whenever he starts eating. Um, antibiotic, probably the main one really. Painkiller that we tried to get into him unsuccessfully. But also for pain, he's got a patch on um, on him which uh, sort of the patch down here 
which is a pain relief patch so that stays on for days and slowly releases whatever it is and uh, helps out with the pain so there you go so I suppose at times like this sometimes you just feel a, a bit hopeless but you just gotta be there and do what you can for the little dude um yeah it's been a pretty stressy hard 24 36 hours for the little one and for us really there's a lot of decisions that had to be made and you know they're, they're hard decisions really so but you just got to get in and do your best and get a result So I couldn't quite capture that, but he all of a sudden got up and sort of went for the kitty litter. And of course, he's a bit wobbly, so I just had to sort of help him there. And had a bit of a pee. It looks pretty orangey, but I think that's a good step. So somehow I've ended up in Storm's bed, and it's quite comfortable actually. The little man's having a bit of a chill. A little bit of a chill. Out of here. Hey. Don't be stormy. So, it's um, four in the morning. Um, little Storm seems to have been sleeping pretty well. Um, although... I sort of woke at about, it's about, yeah, four now, and he's just sort of got a bit active. Had people coming in and checking throughout the night. And, but he's, I've opened the gate and he sort of just got up and tried to walk a bit. And then just sort of laid there, so I'm just sort of trying, as long as he seems comfortable, I'm just trying to let him hang where... We can. I can hear Stanley, uh, and another cat of ours at the door, so sort of trying to keep them separated a bit so other cats aren't licking the wound and that. But um, we also want to maybe bring some sort of social. Let's go in so Stanley might come in for a little bit. We'll see. That's Stanley. Say so good day to Storm, mate, but I've got to be careful, okay? Stanley just probably wants to try to get in there to get the food, but a bit of interaction might be. Good, I don't know. As I say, just working it out as I go. Oh, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good boy, I mean. During his first sort of proper walks. Yes. Yes, my little mate. That was fantastic. That was like... Two meters, mate. You'd be jumping fences before you know it, little buddy. Good job, yeah. He's <laughs> knackered now. So it's still two day, uh, second day post stop. Um, and in, uh, yeah, and again, he's been moving around. Latte has been watching him. I'm about to shoot out for to work for a bit, but just got back. And um, he's trying things like he got up before because Taser was on the bed and he tried to get up and jump up on the bed. So it's good that he's, and he has walked like about, I don't know, three metres there earlier on, Tay was saying. So he's, he's been moving around a bit. He'll get up and he'll want to get closer to people. So he's sort of understanding things like that. He wants his cuddles and 
So we're trying to do that as much as we can, but um, seems to be, you know, under the circumstances heading, hope fingers crossed in a positive direction. So it's going to be a long road, but anyway, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. So we're back in at the vet just because he's not eating or drinking. So um, they said to bring him back in, so they don't want him to dehydrate. So as much as we don't want him moving, having to move him around all the time. We're gonna, we just got to do it. So uh, that's been really good. And uh, Amit, a doctor, I think he might be the one that did the surgery, or he was heavily involved in that night. Um, I think might be seeing us soon. You buddy, buddy, drink some water, Stormy. I suppose we're into day three now. Went and got some milk and whatnot. We're getting the medicine into little storm. He, he's actually jumping up here, so we're starting to get to a point of having to try and slow him down a bit. He's really quite mobile, um, but still lethargic. He's still got pain a patch on, which will be making him lethargic, but just bought him a little cuddly toy. Just cause. Him little mate, but Lise was mainly looking after him last night and he was, um, you know, a lot more active, but, you know, still zones out a lot and pretty buggered. So, but it was successful yesterday at the vet. Really hydrated him, got some food in and sort of. We got some liquid food, so we got some of that into him this morning. Um, but day three, and still looking pretty canned out, but getting his mobility well, um, starting to, you know, do wheeze a bit more. So I think it's going forward in a good direction under the circumstances. So Sally and I will catch you soon. Ooh. Now at grandma's surgery, <laughs> and unfortunately, you wouldn't believe it, poor little <laughs> Sally here has actually broken its leg and Dr. Grandma Jenny <laughs> has to amputate it. And, and so she's going to do that, just like Little Storm. It'll and this like will be a little present for Stormy. Oh, so yeah. good luck, Sally. There you are. <laughs> oh, it looks very doctory. <laughs> and how did the surgery go? It went very, very well. He'll mm. be feeling a lot better probably. By the end of the week, you'll be feeling a hundred dollars. Good on you, Doctor yeah, Jenny. No, you're a champion. Did it. You're no. good, Sally. Oh, all good, mate. A, no worries. He, he said the family looked <laughs> after me and did the right thing. <laughs> on you, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sally, you do have to put your seatbelt on, mate. All right. You okay? Tucked in there. Good little Sally. Not interested in eating, eh? I've been forced to eat again yet because he's just been so relaxed and comfortable. Yeah, we'll get some food in him later. Unfortunately, he's not not pushed the go button with food or water, so we're still still at that stage, and we've just got to really force food 
into him and try and get some water into him today too somehow but we'll keep battling on So that's the end of day three and anyway we went out and watched my oldest boy Ben play some basketball on the TV. He's over in Europe playing wheelchair basketball um, and little Storm come out there for a while. Back in my room now and um, got him set up with the nice cushy thing and of course that's not good enough. He's taking the bed front and centre anyway I think he's going forward so hopefully there's another step up tomorrow for the little one this may not look like a big deal but it is because we just haven't been able to get him to eat or drink and without getting it forced down his throat from a vet or us. So he, today he's just had, well we force fed him a bit earlier, today he's had one of these little treats just to try to get his appetite, which he actually had, because they, they're treats. Um, so, and now Lisa's just got him drinking water um, which is bloody awesome so we're hoping today post-op we're calling today post-op day four um, that he's actually gonna you know start eating a little bit you know solids himself like wet food um, and uh, the main thing is drinking water and this is this is awesome. So there you go. We think it's all to do with um, Sully here having a bit of a yak to him. So good on you, Sal. Hey, say good day to everyone. Mm -hmm. So the end of uh, day four, and Taya Cole got the cat little stormy to eat a little bit so that's really positive he's been sleeping heaps and also we've got Caney Cole that just chipped his elbow and is gonna be in a sling for four to six weeks so and it didn't cost us very much at the doctor compared to what we've had to pay out for little stormy so that's a good thing so there you go, we've got two people on the DL now. Where's Storm? In the bed though. Oh. That's... And... I've seen your video of... Um, where's... Oh, here's the little one. Okay, morning, morning time, day five. Well, I'm thinking I've got the days right. It's either four or five, but I'm, I'm saying... I'll say five. Post up. Um, sleeping a lot, which I'm thinking is good. Um, still gets up and moves around regularly, so it's not like just in one place for the whole day. Just will move around the bed or wherever for a couple of meters um, and then lay down again. Had a little drink of water. I'm just sort of putting this in front of them taking his little i've got to have this on him a lot now because he's a bit more active and cleaning which is really good but we can't let him be doing what he's doing right now no darling come on no you can't do that um he just wants it was the sort of cat that cleans himself all the time 
And of course, where are you cleaning? You want to clean your tail and your butt, probably. But we've got to cover this cut so he's not licking it, so it's a bit awkward. Everything about this is awkward, you just got to be on it, do your best. But this little device here, the little cone head's got to be on most of the time now. So I try to give him a rest now and then, maybe when I'm trying to feed him. Because if he doesn't start eating himself, obviously every day we've got to force feed him, which we've been doing. So anyway, that's the start of day five. We're off to the docks today to have a checkup, see what they think, how things are going. And um, no, not there, mate. And we sold you on. <laughs> you want to say good morning, Storm? Hello? No. Sort of eating a little bit. That's yummy, oh sweetie. Have a little bit more. I just like the gravy. No, sweetie, you can't do that. Let's stick to eating, not cleaning. If you stop licking, you can have the cone off. I can still have a little bit to eat. I'll hold it for you. Not interested? That little treat's gone, did you eat it? Oh no, it's not, it's still there. Oh, sorry, darling. Hey, how's that eye? Did I get that out? It's still passing on. Oh. Maybe if I put food on that plastic thing he will actually lick it because he would so I just like, yeah. we just syringe wrapped him up in a towel I can't film while I'm doing all that got all of that we've got to get Reese is pretty good at getting medicine into him with that syringe but we used the big one to get get this sort of food watch him licking no, we'll get this. Uh, 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 storm, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, no. You can get an idea what oh, it's shit. like. It's, it's hectic. Oh, shit. Did we break the stitches? Okay. No, I don't think so. But yeah, we've got to be careful holding in that, don't we? That's why I'm not into this force feeding. Well, wow, he's got to eat. So you, as you as you can see, it gets pretty full on doing this, and um, it's very stressy, um, just knowing what to do. So, but just to run through this, this sort of wet food you can get, full of all sorts of super vitamins. You suck it up in one of these, and you squirt in his mouth. But at the end, he's we wrapped him up in a towel actually, because he was starting to scratch us the other day. But of course I squirted it all over the wall and the floor when I was trying to get it in his mouth. So it gets all messy, it gets pretty crazy. You know, everyone's on edge a bit. It's not it's not easy, but end result we're hoping he comes through alright under the circumstances and can live a good life, you know, that's what our goal is here. So um I'm gonna that's not working too well as I said you got to think of d d little different ideas so if that's if I'm to put a little bit of food there he'll probably lick it off and it may be a slow process but it's sometimes things like that that actually work so try it Also, you want to try and, you know, there's a point where we stress him out too much and I think I can see a little bit of pus or something coming from that. Those stitches, which, you know, that's something we could have done, which is not what we're intending to do. Do you want a little bit of that, mate? You can lick it up from there. No. Yum. 
so it's hard going guys at times but <laughs> easier for us than stormy no doubt but um yeah it seems to be one of those things you just got to try to improvise try different things and some work some don't so oh anyway we'll get him to the get him to the we'll leave it at that he's had a little bit of water tiny bit of food got his stuff in look he's licking that now you know mainly because he's a clean freak he'll want to you want to get it up and there's things you don't know i mean maybe that food that we've chosen he just doesn't like you know it could be something as simple as a change of change of uh taste in 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 this sort of real soft food um but i think he's just off his food but you look at that he's such a clean freak i'm putting that on there and he's just cleaned that up so if i was to dollop a bit more on every time It's just in his nature to get it so it's just, <laughs> it's just little things like this sometimes you hit a winner hey look at that oh there's a bit more you're gonna have to clean that up now mate oh yes you are he's on the on the go but and it's a lot for a little to put a animal through and lots may think well you know, you shouldn't do it, but the alternative is death, isn't it? And if he gets through this and has to put out for a, a week going through this, and then he actually gets better and better, comes through and lives a good life, which we've done our case studies, and they, they do, um, and we're hoping that's the case with him, well then, all of a sudden in another month we're looking at him running around like any other cat involved that's our hope and um, there's no reason why that can't happen and then we we're gonna go all right we're glad we did it so but it's just pushing through this stage at the minute it's all good you want some more mate I know you don't I know you don't you look you got shit all over all in your hair Oops. Look at that. Dad will help you out. Let's go on the soft bit. Look at that, mate. It's a little bit, isn't it? Got to get rid of that. Hey? Dad, keep mucking up your comb. You gonna lick that? You gonna lick that? Hey? Yeah, you're on camera, mate. Your eye, oh, it's horrible, isn't it? We'll try and get that too later. First things first, food, water, antibiotics. He's eating it. Okay, so we got the little box out and looks like Storm wants to get in it. He's like trying to get in. You want to get in? I didn't think I'd want to go near this box. Go to the... But we've got to go to the vet, sweetie. Hey, we have a look at that little cut which we probably opened up by tormenting you. We'll go to the doctors, okay, and do a little checkup. Well, I think every day we're getting a bit better. So we're back at the vet day five. Stormy's very anxious, and uh, we um, yeah, we'll, anyway, we'll talk to the vet and see how things are going. Look at those stitches, they're weeping a little bit. I think that, as I said earlier, that's something that we might have done trying to get food into him earlier this morning, but these things happen and we'll just check everything else out. So the vet said they'll be in soon. As you can see this, you can pause and have a read of it if you want. But there are these things all over the place, you know, every now and then you see these signs. So obviously people get a little bit stroppy at vets at times because it's hard for them emotional when your pet's hurting and they are having to talk money as well because you haven't got medicare so that's the but without paying them we're not going to be able to come to these places so you know just keep in mind they're all good people trying to do their best they love animals and um yeah so there you go a little vlog on this it might just be handy for other people 
he's stormy we 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 seen Aaron and he's uh obviously stormy's trying to hide away so we're just going through it all now i just turned it on then stormy anyway that was our little visit it seemed to go pretty well that's where we are at the vet and they weren't concerned about that little stitch is weeping a bit i think we just because we knocked it a bit said it was fine you saw aaron in there the new doctor got another can of this is the stuff we've been sort of force feeding the patch has come off now which could sort of help him maybe get his appetite back the pain patch is off so hopefully he's out of pain and uh he starts eating himself and and going forward fingers crossed go stormy you're a champion dude mm. i think somehow little, little mate somehow looks like we've got one less stitch or the, the others inside stitches one's come on done a bit and uh it looks like it's ripped open a bit so we're gonna call the vet and see if we get him back in and get that stitched up again i'd say let's get it looked at see what they think looks like it's opened up to me okay so we just wh whack some stables in uh, you see that uh, or not but i'll show you again in the light so aaron just put staples in so sedate him, in, him again and having to go through the stitches things so anyway so it's all it's all closed up again and hopefully touch wood that um it's all okay so the the end of another day we just lost storm he was in cane's room for a while with the door open then we found him in another room he he pretty naughty little cat anyway it's an i've got to be honest that was a pretty tough day a um, couple of trips to the vet and the wound opening and now he's got stitches in it still can't really get a good shot there of it but um yeah it gets you know this vlog's about just being honest how it's going and it it gets pretty draining you always you got to sort of be on it all the time or else things go wrong and you're always trying to make him as comfortable as possible Oh, we mate. So, anyway, we'll get through it. And um, but he's just, the end of the day. The doctors think everything's going all right, so we'll just keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully he starts eating a bit more and wanting that food, so we don't have to shove it down his throat. Anyway, <laughs> say good night, Storm. Good night everyone, meow. Getting a bit of food into him with these sort of treat things, so I hope right, that's okay. At least Scott, these sorts of things are the cat's absolutely loving. We're putting a bit on his collar. Got a bit of cat milk there. He's sort of had a little bit of a um little bit of a you know bit of milk and a little bit of this and that he's still not really going into his tucker at all so but he's doing all right but coley's going into the tucker and we're out here watching the baseball and there's a little fella have a, have a look at his little stitches they well, staples they put in there and he's still battling on and Texas has got a another hit and score to cut them, so that's good. So we're just doing our best, and he's just pretty keen watching the baseball. Dormy's having a bit of a chill in Taya's room, and um. Having a look at the cards, it looks like it's getting a little bit redder along here, but I think it'll be all right. Staples are staying in, stitches seem to be all right, so it's all good. 
likes cleaning this cat so every now and then I'll take this off and just sit with him and sort of cover there so he can just clean and it's good for his mental health I think but even when still clean and even though he's just cleaning this I think he can get to his tail a bit um still not you know just give it getting what food we can into into him um I, I think it's about a week I'm losing track of these days I think it's about a week now um and it seems in pretty good spirits don't you mate not bad obviously doesn't like the cone but seems to be handling it all right it's got to be on that's just the way it is um so i think it's all going forward going good and it's just sort of probably just going to cruise along like this for a while now and um anyway we'll keep keep you updated and hopefully it helps you out with with some if it ever happens to you here we are again a little update it's so stormy had just something to watch one of these on which is a pretty reasonable cone just a cheapie but whatever and he had managed somehow a little bugger the last few days to actually tuck his head in there and the little cone thing was tucked in there and he could actually get to this and lick it so he sort of probably hasn't done too much damage but you know would do eventually so we've got another cover here one with a velcro that you can do up sort of as tight as you want and it's i think it's just that little bit longer and i'm hoping that that's gonna deter him to be able to get to that cut because it's really important that that he can't be licking that because he just opens it up and and everything so other than that you know much the same we're getting a lot of these little things into him little food satchel satchel things into him he's still not really coming down there and eating food i've always got usually some milk and whatever he's not really getting into that so anyway we're getting a little bit into him he's not that active so probably doesn't need a lot but um I never really ate heaps anyway sleeping a lot but always slept a lot so but uh he he's repairing slowly and every now and then I take this off so he can and I just make sure he doesn't get to that but I've got to stay with him just it gives him something to do really because he likes cleaning so anyway that's the update on the little collar something to look look at if you ever have to go through this i hope you don't but if you do i hope it brings um a little bit of information to you um yeah it, it is tiring but i must say so be prepared you got to keep your eye on everything and uh it does wear you down a bit but uh hopefully we're over the hump and uh and it'll get a bit easier anyway keep smiling dudes As you can see, I'm just putting this stuff on my hand. And absolutely loving it today. Lisa got this new prawn one. And he's into it. So while he's into it, I'm going to get another one. Come on. You want some more? Get as much into him as I can. Hey, yes, darling. Could probably put this on a plate now and he'd be into it, but I'm just when he's hungry, I'll just do what I have to do to get him all. So as you can see, he's eating pretty good, which makes me pretty happy. But only with this stuff, I can't get him eating much else. Anyway, good on you, Storm. So, yeah, and, you know, the cut up the top's really good. It's broke open there, but we've got the 
um, sort of got it re-stitched or whatever but down further is opening up and getting a bit pussy now so it's not going drama really so I might have to take him back in or try and strap it a bit myself with some uh, tape and also on that note obviously we've got a couple of dogs here and as you would have heard our cat got attacked by a dog but we don't feel that it's our too but we still you know they they've never been sort of like that they get pretty full-on playing but so and one gets pretty jealous so they're smaller dogs that they they vet feels that it would have been done by a sort of bigger dog but um we've still got to be a little bit cautious that that you know it wasn't sort of an injury from our dogs to to our little storm which um which broke his leg there so we're, we're, we're sort of just keeping an eye on everything, um, any possibilities. Um, these things can come about through a number of things. It probably, the cat, you probably don't realise how far your cats actually roam. So in wrong place, wrong time and a big dog latches onto them. And we feel that's what's happened and he's managed to find his way back. Um, so... But we've still got to keep an eye on things. So, but listen, when you've got a basically a little farm in your backyard, these are the things that sort of happen. And sometimes it hits you in the wallet a bit, but you've got to do your best. There is a cutoff point, of course, financially. But um, yeah, it, we sort of had to pay out a bit to get Stormy fixed up. Um, Here is Stanley. So. comes up every morning on over shower and says get up. And of course, should you have cats on the bench? Probably not, but I don't care because he's me best little mate. Hey buddy. Hmm? Yeah. What's up to you? Whoops, don't fall off buddy. That's Stanley. And Still got Stormy out here, chilling out. Somehow still getting to his bloody cut there. I don't know, I might have to take him back to the vet. It's just, yeah, it's really starting to weep now. By the look, so he'll be going back today. All right, there you go. And anyway, the cuts, yeah, obviously it's opened up and it's a bit pussy and Storm's pissed off and, but um, we're just, we're just getting a second opinion because a young fella here today and uh, we just, looks like at this stage you might need some sort of a, get in and re-stitch it all up properly, which means putting him under again and that. So that's sort of what we're looking at, but we're just gonna get a second opinion from Aaron, the other, the main surgeon, and uh, see if that's the way to go. And we'll take it from there. Probably a good idea too, when you do come into the vet, or doctors, if it's, write a little note with, you know, things that you need. Because sometimes when you're here, it all gets pretty fast and you sort of forget. So, like there's an eye problem here. I've got to get eye ointment or something there for him too. Well, that was a bit of a stress out. So we've got some eye ointment. Just, um, and we'll get some more antibiotics and they've just cleaned it up. They've left it open, which is pretty big. I might put a photo up. Well, you've probably seen it. And um, I'll come back on Hopefully the tide is over, come back on Tuesday, see how it's sitting. Um, and if it's still really not good or got worse, well then uh, they may have to do a bit more. So, um, which will be a bit more intrusive, I think, if they've got to do that. Um, and we've also got a swab there to do a culture in case the antibiotics just aren't working. We can do a culture and make sure we know what bugs we're going to attack and what antibiotics to use so but that doesn't come back for 10 days so anyway all part of the journey keep soldiering on go stormy
bit tired. Wasn't very happy today. So a bit of an update on Stormy. Um, he's still here. Um, yeah. The, so as we would have last seen, it was it's pretty badly infected and the wounds open. And so I went back to the vet today. Um, last time I went there, they cleaned it up a bit. Blah blah blah. Did some other tests. I may have logged that. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, another nearly 500 bucks sort of there. So it's up over four grand now. Um, so yeah, he's anyway. I just gave him a heap of food, and Stanley's into be a little a bit of a company maybe. I think he's going a bit stir crazy. He's eating a bit. Um, I might get some fresh food for him there now. Um, yeah, so they've they've just cleaned it right up again. They didn't charge me this time, so it's a bit of a grey area with money uh, post season. I mean post um, post op uh, when things go wrong, you know. So they're probably going to charge me a bit every second time, or it's it's sort of it is a grey area. So I'm just we just have to work that one out as we can. Um, but yeah, it's all it hasn't really gone to plan. Um, not that any of this was planned, but um, yeah, so we've just got to keep jumping the hurdles and hopefully it's not going to cost too much more because I really haven't, you know, it comes to a point where you just haven't got any more to put into it and as much as that sounds horrible, but it's just a reality. Um, so I'm hoping we can get over the line. and But other than that, you know, he's, he's reasonably active here. Um, go on the toilet pretty well um, uh, just yeah but he I must admit you know the poor little buggers had to go through a lot um, you know just going back to the docks and getting it cleaned and a lot of it's you know he's not under anesthetic or anything and yeah so I think he's feeling it a bit today at the moment I think he's a bit sore so but he's just gonna have to hack it out. But look, he wants to go outside for a run still, so there you go. Anyway, there's an update. Um, so it's still going going forward and um, it's hard work, but um, no harder for anyone. But this little one here, so Stormy, he, you okay mate? No, I'm not. He's loving these little traits. We probably usually only give them a couple, but he's ready. There's heaps there. But getting anything I can into his belly at the moment, but he's picking out on those. On your storm. So, so we're in the middle of the night. And um Stormy's I've actually been sleeping in another room and leaving Storm on his own for a, a bit because I can't get to sleep and he keeps licking this. So I've done that a few nights. But he seems to really be quite needy and meowing a lot, which is unlike him. So I think he's a bit lonely. So I'm going to try and hang with him and might go and try and crash out in here again. If you don't make so much noise, because I've got to work, little one. And probably want some more bickies, because he loves his bickies. So there you go. And also, because things aren't going that great really with this cut, we've Sort of Lisa and I are feeling now we might have to get a second opinion. So we might take them to the vet that we would usually go to, Melville. We didn't go there because they're not 24 hours. So and then when all this happened, it was after hours for them. Um, so it's just sometimes a bit hard to know, you know, whether the vet we're with is doing the right thing or not. Um, yeah, we, because things aren't going well, we just feel we're probably... So we're looking at doing that, you know, tomorrow or if not the next day, we'll just... But that's a possibility, just to get a second opinion and see what they think. 
if things are going sort of okay. Anyway, let's see if Stormy wants some food. I can tell he just he's just not right. It was a big day today. As I say, he's getting you know, now that things have infected is that you know, he's getting staples put in and pulled out and the wound's way open. Um you probably see photos of it and he's just he's been through a lot today. Well, over the last week and a half, so I think it's about a week and a half or something like that since it all happened. Um you know, and it's all done without anaesthetic, um, so I, don't, I just don't know what's right or wrong um, and how they generally go about it. You just sort of put your trust in these places, but you, you really, when things go wrong, you just really don't know. But, um, yeah, to be, you know, little bits of skin getting cut away, um, and it's really today it was sort of done without anesthetic and a lot of the work like that is done without anesthetic at this place so um yeah i so hence probably a second opinion just for our peace of mind but then again it comes down to going to another doctor and you're paying out more and i had to keep talking about the money but you know, you sort of have to. You can't just keep forking out. But we're going to do our best, aren't we, little mate? Try and get you better. But I must admit, you know, at a lot of times throughout this, um, I am doubting. I do doubt, you know, the decision and, you hate to have to put animals down, but it's such a lot for them to go through, especially when things don't go right. Um, it really is, but you know, hopefully we get through it all comes good. And at the end of this vlog or vlogs about the storm, you know, we'll see him running around nice and happy. He might be able to look and go, all right, well, it was worth it. But at the moment and at a lot of times through this journey, it's just, yeah, you just wonder if I do doubt whether I've done the right thing or not. Anyway, we can just have to try our best. That's all we can do. Amen. Want some more? No. That's it. So, yeah, things, you know, obviously getting any, if you're talking about frustration, getting antibiotics into him has just been an absolute nightmare. And it's really hard to know how much I've actually been getting in. Um, because you know, especially with some of them, it's, it's like it just it comes straight out in their mouth again. So it's pretty awkward for things like that. Like you, you just a, a vet will just give you antibiotics, and they'll just go, "Oh yeah, go and do that, go and do that." But really, they're giving it to people that have no idea how to administer these sorts of things. Um, so. Yeah, it's like sometimes you feel they've given it to you, they've done their job, but they really haven't because the job is to get the stuff into the cats and if they're giving it to someone that doesn't know how to do it, well, then it may not be, the end result may not be there. So in a sense, a vet has failed by doing that, you know. So, um, but... In saying that, I probably have been getting it into them, all right. But um, yeah, when when the cut starts to infect, you do look at all the scenarios that could have could be going wrong, and of course, you know maybe they've done something wrong too, you know. 
uh, throughout the operation that they just haven't cleaned up enough to get get enough of the infection out. So we really don't know where it's gone wrong. It's just gone wrong and we hope we can get it back in place. Hey mate. So they've, you know, this power and the doctors sort of put this bandage on him and I was just seeing him go to the toilet there and it's just like he's peeing all over the bandage. It hasn't stayed on properly anyway, so. I know it's awkward for him, but honestly, at the moment, I'm just feeling like I'm dealing with the wrong, wrong people. So, oops, and he's just knocked the water over. And he's got some more there, so that's all right. But, um, yeah. I'm just starting to feel that they just, this vet, vet that we're with just may not be on it. So, um, sort of since I've been there, I've been dealing with, you know, you can never get the same doctor either, sort of. I think I've dealt with about five different doctors, four. If I had it booked in when they wanted to, um, for the next one, it would have been a fifth doctor I've seen and you know, they're just, it's impossible for them to really be on, be on it. Every doctor you see, it's a new case to them, you know? So not real. I, at this moment, I've got very little confidence in on uh, what they've been doing. And it's just the unknown. So second opinion, as I say, and We'll see, but yeah, a little bit hard. I mean, he's put this bloody, he's put this bandage on, but it's, it's almost like it's covering where he has to have a wee. I mean, it's just ridiculous. So, I suppose I could say not very happy with the way things are going, and probably, yeah, just do not have confidence in this mob at the moment. Here he is, hello little mate. Just had to give Storm, this is back from holidays, and she had to give Storm some medicine. Wasn't real happy, but she does a better job than I do, which is great. And we've rung another vet, and we're gonna go for a second opinion and get them to have a look at it this afternoon. And see what they think should be done. So, there you go. We're still going forward. Ooh, another update. Giving Storm some big pats. He's cleaning my head for me. He's loving it. Just went to get a second opinion down at our normal vet, Melville. Only reason we didn't go there before is they're not 24 hours, so... Um, where the other one was. Um, yeah, uh, pretty... We saw a really good vet there that we hadn't seen before. She was awesome, and... Pretty much, um, yeah, it's same story as the other vet. You know, they said, yeah, I think take the path that, 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 that they're saying. And it is weird that it's you're leaving it open, but they sort of do that at times. <laughs> you're going to fall off the bed, mate. Um, but And we're just going to try that and hopefully the antibiotics kick in. Um, and and it'll just start sort of healing up it'll cover over and and whatnot so although it looks absolutely horrible and you think they really have to stitch it up again they tend to for certain reasons maybe not want to so so the path we were taking looks like it's got a second opinion and she agrees with it so but the little mate's been going through heaps but he's just getting really big Pat's here and loving it, so yes, I know, darling. So, um, let's hope the antibiotics you know start doing their job. And we have got this culture done where they're finding out what sort of bugs are in there just in case we do need a different antibiotic. But we've got part of that back, but really, we're not we won't know the complete results for a maybe another week so so that's on the go as well um 
so it wasn't too bad there today got a few more antibiotics and they cleaned it up a bit again and and um, another couple hundred bucks and so I think now we're up to about probably with a few things that we've sort of bought and made from Kmart and that to make it comfy come on down here mate um, probably up to about four and a half grand now anyway is what it is well, you better get better zoom honk okay. So Stormy's little touch wood, you know, going all right, the cut's still way open and real messy, you know, messy but not as pussy, so feeling the antibiotics are going pretty well, but um, yeah, under here, sort of alone a lot of the time, so I'm trying to hang out with him as much as I can, but in case I haven't put it in already, these sorts of things just have been really good to get into him and not from the start because I don't think they wanted me to give them too much dry stuff but these now they're just they're just treats and they probably but you just got to get what you can into him now he's onto his whiskers he's eating a bit he's on the dry bickies so it's just continuously trying to get that in but these were just when he wouldn't eat earlier on these were just so great and as soon as I pick him up it's like yeah, bring it on. You can see his eyes are just coming back bright and honk. Just got to keep scratching there because it's pain for him to have that on. But I think he's sort of got used to it a bit now as much as he can. He's still doing wheeze and then I probably will have to clean that out actually soon. So, yeah, so probably for the first time in, say, the last week anyway since that infection really got bad i'm feeling confident don't want to jinx myself but it's a touch wood um yeah so hopefully the cut will you know the cut is still really quite bad but i think it's going in a good direction so that's the main thing anyway from Dino and Stormy, we'll, we'll see you soon. <laughs> I reckon Storm. Yeah. So we're going for a little holiday and do another bedroom now. I'm very happy. And he's having some food. I've not seen him eat like this. I'm getting his energy back. Yeah. I've got some treats ready for him. I'm worried he's eating too much and he's going to throw it up. But... No, let him pig out, mate. It'll be yeah, fine. Like he's, this... been eat... he's been eating for a while now. Like this, though? Oh, not really, no. But, you know, he's not. He's bad food. So, what is that you're feeding him? That special stuff I've got him. Okay, with, special stuff. Yeah, it's a mashed up meat with a sauce over the top of it. Mm. And it would be about in like fresh packs. So little Stormy's sort of eaten fairly well. Um, here he is, Ivy. Oh, hello, mate. What you doing, little buddy? What you doing, eh? I will show you the cut again. So I still have a fair sort of hole there. 
So that's the stitches coming down there. That's where it opened up there and there. And that's pretty much nearly closed up. That one's closing. But it goes all weird shapes and bits going out everywhere and whatnot. So um, it's a bit hard to work it all out. So it's like beautiful. But the main thing is it's not super pussed up. Um, clear liquid's not too bad, but it's not too pussed up and needs a good clean actually because we put this honey stuff on it when we clean it and it gets all over him. But that's minor problems. Obviously he wants to clean. <laughs> that's what you do all the time. Anyway, but end of the day. Touch wood. It sort of seems to be going forward and going pretty good. So, um, yeah, we'll um, get to the doctor, I think on Wednesday, so another three days before we go back. But until then, we just keep it clean, keep make sure the antibiotics are going in and, and uh, we're going forward. Hopefully it'll all seal up soon and we can probably give him a bit more freedom then. Can't we, mate? Hi, little buddy. Yes, we can. Anyway, that's the update from Stormy. I'd say we're about, I don't know, two and a half weeks post now. I think. So little Stormy's into his tucker. Hooking into it now. I don't know how long it's been now, I don't know, two and a half weeks, three weeks, I don't know, <coughs> lose track. Um, but I take this off now and just watch him while he eats because it's just a lot easier for him to eat. Got to make sure we get the tucker in and just got to sort of sit with him because as soon as he stops eating, he'll start cleaning, which I don't mind, but of course he cleans the cut. So anyway, we're still going forward. And uh, can't wait till he heals up enough to be able to sort of let out and go for a roam. But I was I feel a bit guilty about that, but you would just have to do it, you know. And um, I suppose there's a lot of cats that are sort of just in an apartment all the time. So um, with our cats, we sort of let them roam a bit, get out in the backyard and, and that. So... Um, which sometimes I suppose is not as safe when they can, when they're outdoor cats, but that's the way you go, way it goes. Anyway, off to the vet tomorrow. So we're sort of back at another vet, the vet that we usually go to, Melville. So we'll get a check up tomorrow night and see how it goes. Um, other than that, we're just trying to keep it clean ourselves. We don't know how, how good a job we're doing, but trying our best and um, seems in good spirits. So I think at last, I'll just go down to the cut. So it was right along here to there. That's where the first hole was. That looks like it's just about covered up now. And then the second hole looks like it has, it's all, so believe it, it probably looks hell messy to you, but that's absolutely awesome. And that cut, these holes, that's the last little hole there. This one's sort of pretty much covered up. And it looks like it might be nearly repaired. Yes, very happy, aren't we? Very happy, little mate. Really? You're such a tough little boy. You are. Okay, okay. let's have some treats. So, we're about three weeks in, I think. Something like that. Um, off to the vet to see if we can um, see how he's going. He's still. One of the holes, it's so still open up a bit, but you know, generally it's looking pretty good, I think. 
But, needless to say, it's quite a mission. So... So, um... Yeah, so off we go. Off to the vet again, little mate. You tough little cat, I tell you. So let's go see what they got to say. Get the aircon on, bud. Here we are at the Melville Animal Hospital. A little bit early but didn't time that too well. Got here a bit quicker than what I thought. Peak hour and all. And he's very boisterous at the moment. Didn't stop me out the whole way. So anyway, Lisa's coming straight from work so she'll be here soon and and we'll rock in in five minutes and might be a bit early, but you never know, you might get in early. Go Super Stormy! So that was pretty successful. They think that um, he's doing pretty good. Maybe another week, hopefully that heals up. Well done, buddy. Got a good clean up, so all good. Hey, Stormies. Eating well, and the cut's sort of getting a bit smaller. Still got a bit of a hole there, but slowly, slowly, it's quite a deep hole. This one, so it's taken a while to fill in. So you know, it's just time, but we've given him a bit more uh, time to walk around the house now. You know, a bit more freedom at night, but he's still sort of mainly in this room and every morning and night we try to give him you know 20 minutes as much as we can to uh clean because that's what he likes to do <laughs> um which is important but the thing is i have to i have to keep my hand over this cut or else he'll just rip it open more so and he's a bit of a rascal <laughs> So, pretty cute looking, but a bit of a rascal, aren't you, mate? And I even get a clean too, so it's a win-win, really. Is he all better yet? Yeah, me. That is medicine like a good boy. Come on, come and take this properly. Four weeks since all this happened now. There's the, oh, was the cut. Um, it's pretty much getting there now, but maybe another week. It should be all covered up, I'd imagine, and, but he's in pretty good spirits. And we just went to the vet at Melville, and uh, yeah, they're all really happy as we are. And just got to get that little cut to heal up now. And but um, other than that, it's all doing pretty well. Still a bit stir crazy because he's not allowed out too much. Let him have a bit of a wander around the house a bit. But basically, he's been in this room for four weeks now, and you know we're all in here sort of with him a lot. But so yeah, you know what I suppose. Uh, it's, as I kept saying through this whole thing, it's been quite the journey, but we'll keep going with it and um, hopefully uh, soon he'll be, all this hair will grow over and we'll be running around like a normal little cat. We'll uh, see some footage of that soon. Go Stormy. So we haven't been doing much playing over the month because we don't want him to be moving a heap but but we can sort of start doing a bit more of this and obviously when he like we have to take the the uh, cone off his head you know and 
just so he can eat properly he can still eat with it on but so he can get a good feed and then I sit here for as long as I can 20 minutes half an hour but he goes for this cut straight away so you have to sort of be there to try to keep your hand over it but it's really important to let him clean because it's something that he does all the time um, so yeah and if we have called him a she at times if I have through this lots of people call him a she because he's a bit of a pretty boy a bit tougher now a few scars and war wounds but but uh, yeah he's he's doing well You want to tell me something? And what's that mean? You think I'm a good bloke? Good on you. You're good, well, you're a good bloke too. You like Big Brother? About four and a half weeks. In stormy. Having a bit of a bath, he's doing a bit of a bath, and his little cuts healed up now. And um, but there's still a bit of a scab on it, so we're still generally keeping the cone on him's head. Still got the cone head, but we let it off, you know, as I do, I'll have done throughout the whole thing. Just watch him, or else he'll lick the scab away. But yeah. It's um, at last closed up at least, so I reckon another, I don't know, four or five days. It's just that little bit of a scab there. We've got plenty of life. Uh, bite, ouch! And all going good, so we're getting there. He's told me. Say hi. The Stormy's out on his first adventure without his collar. Probably a bit early, there's still a bit of a scab there, but Herbert's here to help him along. So he's just going into the into the garden dirt and going to the toilet and looks like it's a bit awkward for him but doing pretty well, isn't he Herbert? <coughs> so we're just over five weeks now and the Cones off his head full time. He's out last night cruising around and doing what he usually does, I suppose, whatever that is. And he looks like a vibrant little pussy cat. <laughs> you want to say g'day? <laughs> well done, little mate. So there you have it, guys. That's uh. Maybe five and a half weeks since he got bitten. We figure that was it by a dog. And um, I hope that uh, that this comes in uh, handy for some people which might go through the same thing. Yeah, it, it, it was a pretty tough time, uh, to, I think, a lot of it. But um, I think in the end, it's all worth it. I think he's going to be running around like a little ripper. So... Um, if you and your cat's going through this, well, good luck to you guys, all right? And uh, just push it, keep jumping the hurdles and push through it. Anyway, from myself and Stormy, we're going to say goodbye. Say see you, mate. Hey. <laughs>